Two migrant children died in detention. Border Patrol asking the Centers for Disease Control to check up on symptoms of sick migrants. Nancy Pelosi saying President Trump's wall proposal has now become a, quote, beaded curtain. She's also accusing him of scare tactics on the issue of immigration. Pelosi must not have seen the latest report from ICE. In 2018, ICE arrested over 138,000 illegal aliens with criminal histories. 138,000. ICE processed over 2,000 total homicide offenses and almost 12,000 total weapon offenses. Sorry, Ms. Pelosi. Joining me now, Tom Holman, act, former acting director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Tom is also a Fox Business contributor. That's quite a damning report, and it's extraordinary that the, the woman who's probably going to be the next Speaker of the House doesn't know about it. Well, look, the numbers are out there. She can certainly find them if she, if she was interested. But she rather push a false narrative because this is an anti-Trump agenda. Now, let's talk about the kids who died. Obviously, a tragedy, both of whom were under, t under 10 years of age. Steny Hoyer and other Democrats coming out with statements, getting very close to blaming ICE and Border Patrol agents uh, for their death, or at least uh, for negligence with regard to their death. I, I look at it, the kids were sick. They were sent immediately to a hospital. The hospital released them after checking them. It was only after the children were released. Then the border agents who were with the, the child and the child's father asked if the kid wanted to go back to the hospital. And it wasn't until the kid began to get delusional that they sent them back to the hospital where the child died. Look, it's always sad when a child dies. It's a tragedy. However, I started in the Border Patrol in 1984. I found dead aliens on the trail when I was a Border Patrol agent that were abandoned by smugglers. I stood in the back with tractor trailer and 19 dead aliens with five five year old little boy that suffocated in the father's arms. I was in Phoenix, inside of a trailer. Yes, I was in Phoenix, Arizona, where aliens were tortured and killed when they couldn't pay their smuggling fees. People die entering this country, and it's not the fault of the border patrol. The, the fine men and women are doing everything they can. Uh, no one's talking about the several thousand aliens they saved last year that would have died if it wasn't for the heroic actions of the border patrol agents. Steny, what has Steny Hoyer done to close the loopholes that cause illegal immigration? As long as they keep talking about abolishing ICE, sanctuary cities, don't want E-Verified to make it illegal to get a job in this country, you know, people will come here for a job. Until they close the loopholes, people are continuing to be enticed to come to this country to get to that sanctuary city or get that job. So why don't we close the loopholes, push back on illegal immigration, that's the way to save lives. Erect a wall. Build a wall. Save lives. By the way, uh, before we leave ICE, the L.A. County Sheriff is now saying, and I'm quoting him, we are going to remove ICE agents from county jails. What will that do? When the, when the sheriff said that, he stopped being a cop and became a politician. By the way, you, you started, your first job was as a cop. You've, yes. you've been a police officer for a long no, time. No, shame on him. He, you know, he's going to physically remove... A federal law enforcement officer, these men and women put their lives on the line just like his deputies. And he ought to be thanking ICE, because ICE has arrested thousands of criminals in that very jail before he became sheriff. And removing them from the community, which protects his officers and protects his community. The, all, ICE has also arrested thousands of illegal aliens who, who are criminals from the streets of L.A. County. So you think he'd give them a thank you as a fellow law enforcement officer rather than making a comment he's going to physically remove them? Shame on him. He's not a cop. He forgot it's like to be a cop. Uh, El Paso, by the way, uh, uh, apparently is, is going to be receiving 600 migrants that ICE is releasing there. How concerned should folks in El Paso be about this? Maybe they should ask Denny Hoyer. No. Why didn't you close a loophole called the Flores Settlement Agreement? You, the Ninth Circuit has decided you can only detain a family up to 20 days, which is not time enough to see an immigration judge, which means they get released. Some... Most don't show up in jail. If they I mean, show up at court, when they do show up in court, they get order removal. Less than 2% of the 91% that lose their case in, in front of an immigration judge have left the country. That is a further enticement. People think there's no consequence, no, deli uh, no, 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 no deterrence. They're going to keep coming. So the judges have essentially uh, mandated by their own authority catch and release. Yes. And that's, that, that is another loophole. I myself and Secretary Nielsen has went to the Hill many times, closed this loophole. If you want to have due process, we're all for it. We'll give them due process at great taxpayer expense. But there's one way you can guarantee it, detain them to see a judge. Back in 2014, we did that. We held them for like 40, 45 days. They saw a judge. Over 92% lost their cases. We filled a couple planes of families, sent them south. 
the numbers went down because they realized there's a consequence of deterrence. The United States is a, is a country of laws, and we're going to force those laws. So people like Steny Horry wants to blame Border Patrol and ICE for all the problems on the border. He could have helped close that loophole, and he didn't. Finally, i got to ask you about Pelosi uh, mocking the idea of a wall, saying that President Trump should call it a, quote, beaded curtain. Shame on her. You know, she's a, here, here's a uh, congressman that supports sanctuary cities to keep illegal aliens in the country, but she didn't want to support a wall to keep them out. I mean, she mentioned the president's making up the, the information on the criminals and the terrorism and the, and the disease. You already mentioned all the criminals arrested by ICE. Uh, border Patrol actually arrested over 6,000 criminals themselves on the border. The, the, the rest of MS-13 members have more than doubled. The seizure of fentanyl, that's, you know, 72,000 over overdose deaths this year. The seizure of fentanyl by Border Patrol is up 184%. Wow. All that tells you need a wall. As far as the disease, when I was ICE director, we do TB tests on most aliens coming out of custody from Border Patrol. I remember two years ago, we did have a TB that was a rare form of TB that we couldn't treat. We worked with the CDC to try to treat this form of, of TB. Figured it out after a few months. But what if that person would have been released in the United States? Mm. Many people come across with TB and, and, and we deal with it. Measles, chicken pox, lice. Our family residential center has been shut down numerous times with chicken pox. So there are sicknesses coming through that.